There is this lore around streaming and how it's the dream job. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the reality of it. While it is a lot of fun, there is a lot more to it than what meets the eye. A lot of editing, less gaming than a lot of people think, and well, I can show you better than I can tell you. This is a realistic day in the life of a full-time teenage streamer. It's usually around 11 to 10 a.m. when I wake up. I'm the type of person that believes in waking up on your own clock. Personally, I'm just not a productive person in the morning, and unless I'm working out, then it's just not worth it for me. As soon as I get up, the first thing I do is check how my YouTube videos from the day before, but also like the week before, are doing. And shortly after, I look through my emails, respond to a few of them, and write my script for my TikTok, and then it's a quick shower. Get ready and change. And brush my teeth. At this point, all I can usually think about is content. So I drink some type of caffeine and think about my TikTok for the day and my YouTube video for tomorrow. I always plan my YouTube video, then get started on my TikTok. Within an hour or two, I finish my TikTok. Today's TikTok was about this teleprompter that I got recently for my YouTube videos. Let me know if you guys want a full video on how I film with TikTok. Anyways, here's the final draft. A few weeks back, I think Carter got a teleprompter. I'm pretty sure it was a fail, but it planted a seed in my brain. Over the next few weeks, I got more and more into YouTube. And now I have posted seven days in a row. But since then, I've been looking for ways to make my videos better and better, and that's where this comes in. It's the Desu TP10, and it's a pretty small and compact teleprompter. It was easy to set up, downloaded the app on my iPad, and recorded this video. Here are my thoughts. Quick setup, not crazily huge, and can definitely see myself using it every video. Let's mess ups in the filming process and overall it took me about 20 minutes to film. I was able to chop up footage easier and it saved me over an hour of work and all. Only bad thing is that it's widest 17 mil on full frame you can see the edges of the teleprompter. So in that video I filmed at 24 millimeters so that you couldn't actually see the edges. But all in all a great product and I recommend to serious content creators. But anyways Aloe is streaming right now. Um, I am gonna stream in a little bit. I usually stream before 4 and before 7 but my TikTok is done for the day which is good. I think today I'm I'm gonna work on my desk tour uh, for 2022. So I have to write the script for that. And then later tonight, I'll film it. So I'm gonna work on that. Oh, whoa. Did I scare you again? Huh? So the last clip that I had, there was no audio. Say, say hi again. Hi. <laughs> Aloe's streaming. She's playing Animal Crossing. She's getting first on my video. So I recorded another thing without my audio being on. It is currently 2.20 PM. I finished about half of the script for the desk tour. Aloe finished streaming. She's not feeling too good, but she's eating now, so that's better. We got Popeyes. I got a spicy chicken sandwich with no pickles. Can I have a bite? Yeah. Um, I gotta get Aiden his food. So I'll grab that. This is his. Yo, yo. There you go. Hey, Popeyes. Oh, yeah. I got a spicy chicken sandwich. Let's go. Surprise. I got drinks. For my streams, I usually plan the night before what I'm gonna do on stream. I just finished eating. I'm about to play Valorant with my little brother Z. I think you can hear him through the headset, but I am about to stream. I have OBS up. I can finally like actually record while I'm streaming because now I don't have to use this lens on there. I got a new lens, but it is so cold. I got my hand warmer. I use this thing on the daily. This thing's amazing. It was like 20 bucks. My hands are always hella cold when I stream, so. Whenever I stream, I want to maximize my time. So usually for the first 30 to 40 minutes, I like to plan a part of my stream to be a YouTube video, whether that's reacting to setups or building a PC. It could even be a gameplay video. Let me know if you want some of those. Anyways, after that portion, I like to just play games. Do you think it's enough? Let's go! Six months! Six months! Anyways, sometimes streams go from two hours to six hours. It depends on the day most of the time. So everybody, say what's up. This is going to be in the stream. Bird, thank you for the eight months. I love you. Say hello. And I'll also put in some Twitch clips. So my internet went out twice. Since I am filming a realistic day in the life, things sometimes will go wrong and that happens kind of normally just because there's so many things going on especially when you're setting up new things i don't know why the power went out but 
it just happened. Um, so the power in my room continues to go out every time I go live. I've tried it three times. Gonna just, and I mean, I, I turn the lights back on. I turn the power back on. There's not really anything I could do right now, so I'm just gonna focus on my YouTube content. Gonna finish out this script, um, and then maybe, hopefully edit. There's nothing I can do about that, so I just turn the setup off. Kinda sad, honestly, but I can't really do anything about it, so just gonna focus on my YouTube. And like I said earlier, it's realistic to have problems, to have things that don't go the way that you plan. So I guess it just fits into the video. After stream, my only focus is YouTube. It isn't a complete day if I don't make a video after stream. So oh, I just finished the script. I'm gonna film the A-roll for the desk tour video and then after I'm gonna film all the B-roll. Try to get all the footage done before later. We have to go pick up Tav and then get my CES badge. So I am going to CES. Uh, big shout outs to Mavix for actually hooking me up with a ticket. Gonna vlog. Hopefully I can meet some other tech TikTok creators. I think that would be pretty cool. Maybe some YouTubers as well. But yeah, usually after my stream, my main focus is my YouTube video for the day. And I try to get everything done before midnight, but sometimes it goes to 2, 3 a.m. So I'm gonna film the A-roll for this video. See you soon. It's very important to have structure to a YouTube video or else watch time just won't be the same and it won't be good, which means your video won't get pushed. I usually film everything on this little setup I have here. Expect a productivity setup video soon on the M1 Max MacBook Pro. It's still about 50% done, so that's why I haven't made a video about it yet. I love it because it has my setup in the background, and whether it's TikToks or YouTube videos, it's super easy to adjust and change. Shortly after I'm done filming is my editing session for the night. I usually import all my clips and organize my footage, then I get straight to work. It has been a little bit. I don't know what time I started editing, but I finished the A-roll and I started on the montage, but our food came. Me and Alo got some chicken Alfredo and then a pizza. Hopefully this is good. I never had this place. I woke. Alo and I ate and watched some anime. We're currently watching Black Clover. And after I went ahead and went to the airport to pick up Tav, as well as my CES ticket. Unfortunately, I forgot to turn on my mic, so it, the whole thing was muted. I'm back home now. My Mike was on wrong earlier, so I, I kind of just had no audio. Um, but they gave us these COVID tests, and Aloe's not feeling too good, so it's probably smart for her to take it anyways, but we're both going to take it. What an interesting day in the life. Aloe hasn't been feeling too good, so we took these COVID tests. You suck at this. Hey. <laughs> I'm crying. Beautiful. Call your mom. Uh-oh. I'm not going to lie. Usually, I would just end the vlog there. But since this is like a realistic day in the life, both of them are negative. I do have a present for Tav. When I got my jacket that I was wearing earlier, this one, I got an extra one for Tav, and it is a large. So I'm gonna go give it to him, see his reaction. Tav! Yeah. I got you a present. What you get me? What you get me? You wanna see what you got, Tav? Yeah, yeah. I got you a matching one. Whoa! Nah. It's from me yeah. I mean, now. It's like Chris is good. No way. Nah. He was talking how much you he loved not. it. Did you actually? Yes. Yeah, you said you liked the jacket? Yes. I seen you wear it. I was like, that shit is fire. Oh, is yeah. It fit? Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, feeling? yeah. Looking like a comfort too. <laughs> it's light, huh? It's like yeah. not too heavy. Oh, yeah, had a boy. Thank you! Oh yeah! Take your pigs? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Let's go, Hell baby! Yeah. I gotta finish editing. I'm not excited for this. Nope. Okay. Um, I'm gonna clean up and then finish editing, and that will probably be my night. Unless we have time to watch more anime. Then finally get to bed. If anyone noticed, on a productive day, I don't really leave the house. I focus on my work and my career, and anything else is honestly just feels like a waste of time. To succeed in gaming slash content creation, I have to essentially dedicate my life to this and I'm all for it. To achieve the dream of a middle school me is a lot more than just sitting at my desk and playing games for 16 hours a day and that's fine with me. Thanks for watching. Drop a sub if you enjoyed. Peace.